ceramics, and calligraphy in Kabul. This is part of a project to revive and restore traditional skills in Afghanistan. It's a rare success story for an aid project in the war-torn country. The Turquoise Mountain Foundation is a charity that in the 16 years since the fall of the Taliban has found and fostered the talent of some of Afghanistan's best artisans. Part of these area, like uh, Jolly Screen or um, uh, Nuristani carving, uh, we had teachers that they were the last artisan in Afghanistan. Now that we are talking to each other, the teacher has been passed away and he's died. If we were not able to preserve this craft, uh, that craft with the teacher was died. Kabul was once renowned for its craft work, but more than a decade of war meant that when the charity started this project in 2006, many artisans had left the country. Now, a new generation is trained. After the graduation, my first plan is to establish my own enterprise, and I want to achieve my goals. I would like to see female and male staff working for my company to save this culture. The restored building teaches everything from wood carving to pottery. Students get three years of free training, a fed and housed if they come from further afield, and leave with double certifications, both Afghan and British. And their products end up being sold both here, in the Turquoise Mountain store, and abroad. Some of the students have gone on to decorate palaces in London and the Emirates, whilst others have received commissions for New York Fashion Week. Um. When we see one of our graduates getting orders from London and other foreign countries, and they are getting the job done, it is an honour and pride to the country and to this school. After its successes here in Afghanistan, the Foundation is now looking at war-torn Syria, which is also seeing ancient traditions threatened by an exodus of artisans. For now, whilst the war in Afghanistan drags on, here in this creative Kabul hub, real progress has been made, rebuilding what was lost and carving out a new future. Sarah Fair, TRT World.